This is an original Odner uh, pinwheel machine, uh, the model 24. It has an extra large main register of 20 digits and a back transfer mechanism. Um, Odner was the original uh, inventor or designer of the pinwheel machine. Wilgot Odner uh, was based in Russia, in St. Petersburg, and his first prototype was made in 1875. Uh, the, the pinwheel mechanism itself uh, was older than that, but he uh, designed the whole layout of the machine. His first versions actually had the, the counter register directly below the main register in the carriage, but pretty soon he put them side by side, and yeah, that design was used in pinwheel machines after that. In 1890 is uh, that's when he first started mass producing the the machines. Unfortunately, the Russian Revolution uh, changed things. So in uh, 1918, when the uh, company was nationalised, the production machinery confiscated and moved to Moscow. Um, yeah, he moved to uh, Gothenburg in Sweden. And that's where the original Odner uh, company was founded and yeah, from then on production was done there. This model came out in around 1940 uh, and uh, yeah, it's one of the first Odner models to have the back transfer mechanism. So, yeah, it's a fairly normal pinwheel machine. You enter a number using these input pins. It does not have a display uh, input display register. But, uh, yeah, you enter the number there, and when you turn the crank, that gets added to the main register, and the counter is incremented. To subtract, simply turn the crank the other way. And so on. Uh, the main register is cleared with this little crank. The counter with this one here. If you want to do multiplications, you just do repeated additions. So, four turns of the crank multiplies it by four. For larger multiplications, you shift the carriage. You can use these two buttons here to shift the carriage one step. This one, a step to the right or a step to the left. Now it's on the uh, tens digit position. So, each turn of the crank will add this number in the tens position, essentially adding it uh, ten times. So now I have multiplied this input by 64 and the result is readable here in the main register. If I shift it one more time to the hundreds uh, position I can do a large multiplication in this case by 764. The inputs can be cleared as well. Uh, on early models you just had this uh, switch here that pulls uh, a comb in front of the uh, input slots. So you move that in front of the slots and then turn the crank forwards and that catches all the input pins, aligning them, and then you return the crank, and it's now all zero. This model and some of the other later models have uh, an in a clearing button here, 
so that you can do it uh, just with one hand. You push the clearing button, that locks this comb in place, and then you just uh, move the crank forward and back to clear the input, and the button is reset automatically. Um, the counter is quite interesting. The direction in which the counter uh, moves is selected automatically depending on the first uh, movement of the crank after you've cleared the counter. So if the first movement of the crank is uh, clockwise at an addition, then the counter will count the additions and uh, subtractions will uh, reduce the counter. If, however, the first turn of the crank is uh, counterclockwise, a subtraction, from then on the counter will count subtractions instead. So that's done automatically. There is no switch for selecting it yourself. And that means that when you do a division, let me do a division now. Uh, when you do a division, it it's just works automatically. So I'll shift the carriage all the way to the right to enter the first number. I clear the counter. Now I enter the second number. I'll do the standard division of 355 divided by 113. A nice approximation to pi. So I start subtracting. When the register underflows, a bell rings telling you that you've gone too far. Now you shift the carriage to the next uh, position and repeat. The bell doesn't always sound, unfortunately. It should. There we go. So the result is 3.14159292203, which is a pretty good approximation. You may have noticed that the carries in the main register only go up to the 13th uh, place. Uh, or rather up to this point, the body of the machine is where the, uh, where the uh, carry mechanism is. It's on, this, on the dr same drum as the input wheels. Um, but if they, wanted to, if they implemented a carry mechanism that goes all the way to the end, yeah, you need more time for the carry to go from one end all the way to the other and that would lead to a much larger carry drum here. Uh, yeah, that would bulk up the size of the machine, unfortunately. So, yeah, to keep it reasonably compact, yeah, they, uh, they only do the carry up to the 13th place. But that's not really a problem, uh, because the input is only 10 digits, and, uh, yeah, you'd have to have a an occasion where it carries from the 10th digit all the way up to the 13th and that doesn't really happen very often. The counter mechanism that has a carry, a carry mechanism inside it as well. Um, let me uh, show you that. If I subtract it once, it underflows all the way to 909. And that's because it, it, it too has a uh, simple carry drum underneath it, which is uh, driven from the main crank through uh, 
a gear that's on a sliding shaft uh, on on the uh, on the carriage. Let me also show you the uh, back transfer mechanism. Uh, that's this button here. It uh, it only works if the input is clear, otherwise it doesn't engage. So first you have to clear the input. And yeah, now to transfer this number into the input, you push this down until it locks and clear the main register and that automatically pulls the pins down to that position as well. Um, yeah, so that's uh, very simple. Let me show you. Uh, you can, by the way, you can shift the carriage uh, freely if you push down this uh, this switch here. But um, yeah, the carry mechanism, sorry, the back transfer mechanism, it uses a, a rack of uh, of gears back here, and when you pull push down the back transfer button those gears move up and connect the number wheels with the input directly. Yeah, so that was the original Odner uh, pinwheel machine, series 24. Thank you for watching.